Well, an unexpected outcome in the trial for the man accused of driving drunk and killing Houston R&B singer Jay Renee. Fox 26's Dom Lee Keith was there in the courtroom where the victim's family understandably overcome by an emotional wave of surprise. Yeah, this is an ending I don't think anyone expected. Bobby James Brown will not serve any prison time. He was given only probation, and Brown could have been sentenced to more than 20 years in prison for the charge of intoxication manslaughter after killing R&B star Jay Renee back in 2021. Now, just as opening statements were about to begin earlier, the judge granted the defense's motion to throw out blood alcohol evidence against Brown because the blood drug Draw was not taken within the three day time frame as required by law. My, I lost my daughter and my best friend. With the courtroom packed full of Jalen J. Renee Chapman's loved ones, jurors were seconds from being brought in to start the intoxication manslaughter trial against Bobby James Brown. We've been waiting for two and a half years uh, to, to see our day in court. Uh, it's a roller coaster of emotions. Um, you're all over the place. During this time, defense attorneys routinely make motions to have evidence thrown out. Then, shockingly, Judge Tiaiva Bell granted the defense's motion to toss out evidence which shows, according to investigators, Brown's blood alcohol level was 0.19, more than double the legal limit. Without that, how would prosecutors prove Brown was drunk in April 2021 when detectives say he was driving the wrong way on the highway, smashed into a vehicle J. Renee was riding? Riding in, killing the 19 year old Houston native and RB star. So Brown was offered a plea deal of 10 years probation and no prison time. It wasn't the plea deal that we are happy with, but it's a plea deal that we will live with. And if the defendant makes any wrong turn, if he violates that probation in any way, shape, or form, we will have a hearing and we will ask the judge to send him to prison where we believe he truly belongs. Family members of the Houston Songbird. Were far too emotional to speak with us after the plea deal, but beforehand, Jay Renee's mom says she misses her baby every second of the day. Um, every day is is hard. It doesn't get any easier. But yeah, I think it gets harder each day. Um, it's like a nightmare that you just can't wake up from. Now, Brown will have to adhere by strict probation rules, which include he can't drive, can't drink any alcohol, and he can't go to any facilities that serve alcohol for 10 years, or he will be subject to prison time. Now, he will have to serve 180 days in the Harris County Jail, but again, J. Renee's family members were not pleased about that. Neither were the other victims' family members, because as you may remember, three of J. Renee's friends were also severely injured in that crash. They survived, so he was also charged with three counts of intoxication assault. Reporting live at the Harris County Criminal Courthouse, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 26 News.